I'm Jennifer Bellamy. And I'm Sheba Russell. Let's get straight to Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb kicking off our team coverage tonight. Chris, what can we expect here over the next 24 to 36 hours? Tomorrow we're going to see those changes that will be moving into our area, but it's going to be late and then the main impacts will be occurring on Sunday. And you mentioned just a moment ago that some additional counties have been added on to this winter storm watch and this comes now as far south as Gwinnett County, also into parts of Forsyth County and into Cherokee County and then more counties in northwest Georgia also added to this watch and along the state line there from North Georgia into South Carolina. Uh, four counties here from Rabin County, Habersham County, also into Hart County, Stevens County and uh, into Hart County here. Uh, those counties have been added into a winter storm warning uh, elevated there. So this is what we're going to be expecting in these areas. The main threats are going to be that rain late Saturday night changing over to freezing rain and sleet overnight and then during the day on Sunday changing over into snow and that could cause dangerous travel and this is where the impacts will be a little bit highest north and east of the city. Now Atlanta is not included in any watch or advisory yet, but it is possible we could be added to that as we get closer to the time frame when the system moves in. So still the highest impacts pretty much line up with where we see that winter storm watch in effect where we could see some significant snow and ice possible, some travel issues there and with the wind whipping up the potential for even some uh, some power outages and then South of that, as you get closer to I-20 through Metro Atlanta there in northwest Georgia, uh, some moderate impacts there still with some snow and maybe some light ice accumulations could cause some tricky travel and then not as many impacts we think down to the south of I-20. Here again is a look at that side by side comparison of the main models that we're watching right now and they're trying to come together a little bit more here. Both of them still trending with those highest impacts up to the north and east. In fact, some of the higher elevations could see more than six inches of snow there. I think here in Metro Atlanta, it would be maybe up to two inches. We'll talk more about those specific accumulation forecasts for you, as well as how long it could stick around once it hits the ground.